Joining me today is Sarah Otteri and we're going to be cooking a beautiful broccoli dish. I love broccoli. So do I. As a kid I hated it. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I've been known, like, my friends know that I like broccoli sometimes yeah. more than chocolate, which is a little bit weird. But That's broccoli. controversial. Yes, I know. I don't I think know. I agree with that yeah. one. <laughs> we eat it all the time and this is a really favourite dish of mine. Yeah. I mean, on MasterChef we make all these extravagant things. Yes. It's like flambe this, but... <laughs> You know, during the week, you want something simple, something that's mm. tasty, and this is a go-to for me all the time. Love it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so basically, we've got a non-stick pan here. We're just going to put it on a medium heat. Okay. I'll get you to slice some of that garlic for me. We sure. just need one clove of garlic for this recipe. Okay. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. So this is a great recipe because you can have it warm or you can have it cold. You cook it either way, and then if you want it room temperature or cold, you just put it all out on a flat pan and let yep. it cool. So this is so dead simple. I'm not even going to be precious with this. We're literally just going to start chopping the broccoli mm -hmm. up like this and just getting into little bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be too fussy with it. And the great thing about it is we use all of the broccoli, the stalk and everything, which is actually mm. my favourite part. Get you to cut some of that spring onion for sure me. Sure can. So just the white part or do you want some of the green part too? Uh, some of the green part would all be right. nice. But as long as you keep all these little pieces small and roughly the same size, they're all going to cook at the same rate. And because they are nice and small, they're nice and tender as well. So while I get onto this second head of broccoli, yep. do you mind seasoning some of that beautiful sure. organic lamb for me? Can do. So I'm just going to keep this really simple. Yep. Um, salt, olive oil, pepper. Sounds good. That's the way we do it at home. Okay. This oil's nice and hot, not too hot obviously because as soon as the garlic hits it we don't want it to burn. Okay. So I'm just going to put in our spring onion and garlic. Follow that with a little bit of dried chilli, teaspoon of cumin seeds. Mm. Cumin, cumin, oh, every week I change the way I say it. But these are great flavours with broccoli and it's... And great with lamb. Great with lamb yeah. also. So literally, this couldn't be quicker. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got the griddle pan on a medium heat, then that's nice and warm. We could probably get the lamb on and Perfect. they'll all be done at the same time. Yeah, this is great. It's a 15-minute it's a meal if you think about it, even less. Because I like my lamb cutlets to be quite rare and medium rare yeah, is same. nice. When you've got a nice grill pan, it's not going to take long at all. OK, now that that's fragrant, yep. we're literally just going to go all in with the broccoli. Mm -hmm. And I might add just a touch more olive oil, just so this can all be nice and lubricated. There we go. I love that your touch of olive oil is the same as my touch of olive oil. It's like glug, glug, glug. Generous. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little toss. Yeah. And we'll just turn the heat up now, mm. just to cook that through. You know, sometimes it's the simplest things that whet your appetite a little bit more. I can smell cumin, I can smell garlic, yeah. I can smell chilli, and I know it's going to go nicely with that broccoli. So, Juz, yep. I'm just going to sauté this for probably another two or three minutes. Yep. We still want it to have a nice little bit of crunch in between. Flip the chops and then it'll be pretty much plating up. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so, Juz, this is pretty much done. The lamb's cooked, so now we're just going to take it off and let it rest. Awesome. So we can finish this beautiful salad. Great. All those chops look good. Thank you. Mm. And we could have even put a little bit of cumin seeds that we, we used. We totally could have. Yeah. Oh, hindsight's a beautiful thing, isn't it? No, but, <laughs> but in saying that, we could have, but it's not the end of the world because we'll keep this as is and we'll really taste the cumin That's and true. the chilli throughout the broccoli. Because you were quite generous with that chilli and that cumin seed. Yeah, <laughs> cumin and chilli, you got to go all out. Absolutely. So to finish this, mm -hmm. now that this is cooked through, it's still al dente. I still like to describe my vegetables as al dente. Great. Um, we're going to add some raisins. You can use sultanas, it doesn't really matter. These yep. are nice and juicy and mm. soft. And I think these are great because it adds another dimension to if it's a warm or cold mm. salad or something, just a bit of sweetness to help cut that saltiness and bitterness of the broccoli. Yep. Then we've got some slivered almonds. Now the reason we're adding these at the end is because if we added them earlier they'd lose their crunch, they'd take on a lot of the moisture from the olive oil and the sweating of the broccoli. Yep. And then to finish, a little bit of zest of lemon, which I think lifts it and going with lamb, it's so perfect. Yeah, and talking about leaving the nuts to the end, also lemon zest you put in the beginning, it just, you lose it. You lose it the It becomes bitter sometimes yeah. and yeah, it's just so much more fragrant this way. So a little bit of that. Nice. And we're pretty much ready to plate. Ooh, you know what? I remember you from MasterChef with your plating skills. Everything oh, looks so Oh, now the pressure's pretty. on. So the pressure's on, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Actually, do you mind cutting me a cheek of that lemon? Because there's nothing better than lamb. The nice bit of lemon. Nice one. Oh, it smells good. She smells so good. <laughs> you know, broccoli when it's boiled, yeah. The broccoli when it's roasted or sauteed yeah. in a pan, it's totally different. You can't compare the flavour, I think. Especially when it's been dressed in lots of different spices and other flavours. And some choppies. These ones look pretty good. Like that. Lemon. Cheeky wedge. And that's it. Couldn't be simpler. So yummy. So I've always wanted to know what Sarah has for dinner in midweek. This is what she's eating and it looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>